Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This is a quick tutorial video on how to control all the parameters here on the multi-poly through the door. And it's not immediately obvious how this works. This video actually applies same to the mod wave and the wave state as well. So let's, for example, say you've got a synth sound like this and, and you want to automate that cutoff. That's the, the classic thing like that. Maybe the, you know, bring it up like that. That sort of classic automation that you would do. If I go to my Cubase here, add a MIDI track, the, uh, let's call it multi-poly. Uh, I've got a MIDI track there. And if I have a look, you see, I've got my multi-poly connected via USB. This applies exactly the same USB or as if you're using the five pin DIN, it's no difference. So let's just bring that, um, I'm just going to record. I'm, I've not got it set to an output. I don't want it to, to loop back for a second. So if I, just start recording something and I'll record some notes and change the cuts off. Okay. You'd expect, well, what you expect now is of course that to play back. So let's just put it back onto the multi-poly. And of course you hear no change. That cutoff wasn't recorded. That's because all these parameters, while syncing up through, if I go into the editor, you know, I can sync all these parameters in real time synced. They're using um, a direct connection, like a network connection, not MIDI to connect to the editor. So how can you then do what I just what did there with the filter cutoff in an easier way through the door? And it's actually pretty simple. There's a technical reason why I call don't transmit all these. I think it's to do resolution and the number of parameters and other things. That's not really what I'm going to get into on for this video. I'm just going to show you how to, to uh, get around it. And it's pretty simple, really. You've got four parameters there that transmit MIDI and the X, Y of the chaos pad that you also transmit, transmit and receive MIDI. So how can we use those? Well, let's look at them, these mod knobs here. Simplest way, and the great thing about these is you can apply them to all four layers. So we're using a single layer here, but I can have four layers and I can have different mappings on each layer. But let's just go for a single layer for now. So here you can see my uh, Poly 61 sound. And we're talking about cutoff, weren't we? So I go to cutoff, and I just map the mod one um let's make it a lot just so i can show you that's too too much isn't it so let's bring it down until we get the, the range that we want now with these as well these are a plus to minus so this is sending minus values minus 100 it sends zero it sends plus 100. You can change it to just a minus and 100 like that. So it depends on how you want. So I can go. But in our case, it, this, this works better. So I'm going to pick another layer. Let's pick a, so I've picked another layer here. I've got this base sequence there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, map the mod two and we'll call that base so i can so i can turn it up and down with there so we've got two different let's just put that layer back on so we've got two think layers there so go back to my sequencer now I'm going to delete this and so let's record something now. I've turned the, the MIDI just to record. Uh, so you got everything, turn the filter up and down using the mod now. Okay, this time you'll see it's pick, you can see it there. That's the controls from the mod that's sending MIDI over. So if I uh, send that back, let's play that. You can see it's recording that filter. 
cut off now. Now, if you add another layer, that add, you could map that to filter cut off as well. So um, it, it can work across all layers. You don't have to. Um, but the other thing I did do was add that bass in there. So if I play this back now and start to bring the bass, you'll, you'll hear the bass layer. I can turn it up and down. So of course I can just overdub now on here and control that bass layer. And that's and that's done it. So sometimes I tend to record it separately so that it's on its own track, so it's easier to to edit and control. So I usually record it once with the playing, and then the second one with the playing those those knobs. So we've got those four controls, and this also works with chaos as well. I'm not ready to map to the chaos currently, but let's um, let's delete that and let's have a look for something else. Okay, so I've got this profit. Uh, five sound, which is controlled by the chaos uh, for the. You can hear it like that. So let's just set that to record. And. Again, you can see it's recorded the notes and it's recorded the, the controller there. And so there you go. It's sending those through and you can play it back. Just an example of what you, final example of what you can do with it. So now I've got all these layers that I can bring in. So now I've recorded that in, and there you can see all that control is in there. If we have a look here to see what's present, it was, yeah, there are there's the CC controls that we were sending from the, the mod controls. So I should be able to play that now. Bass coming. And now we should hear the drums coming. To, and you can see it altering on there as well. That's the out sync there. But you get the idea. So that's how you can control any of these. So you've got these four knob controls. They can apply, they can control anything, and they can control multiple things. You've got the chaos as well. You've also got the. Um, the mod, mod wheel here as well, which you can don't have to use for pitch, you can use for something else. So I hope that answers the question that someone was asking me about how you can control these things. It's It makes sense once you know how it works. And it said this applies exactly the same to the mod wave and the wave state as well. Uh, so there you go. So hopefully that answers the question. If you've got any more questions about the multipolar mod wave, wave state, please let me know and I'll do a video for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.